Hello everyone, welcome back to another Wonder Dads review. Today we're going to be going over the On Gaming Keyboard from Walmart. So we're going to answer the question, is this the best budget keyboard that you can just go into a store and buy? There's a lot, there is some competition in this category. One is the K55 by Corsair, but that is not a mechanical keyboard, that is actually a membrane keyboard. So. What does this keyboard offer? Well, look at the thing, it does have blue mechanical switches with an aluminum frame, programmable uh, RGB, so you can actually program each individual key if you wanted to, uh, anti-ghosting, so you don't have to worry about multiple button presses, especially when you're gaming, programmable software, so you actually can do macros with this. We will do a dive into the software, so you guys can see what that looks like and how that runs, and it does come with a magnetic wrist rest. So, now, on spec, you know, on paper, this thing has a lot going for it. Um, actually, the way I discovered it is one day I was walking through a uh, local Walmart and I saw this sitting here and I'm like, what? When did they make a mechanical keyboard? It's 104 key, so it does have the number pad. Um, and I tried it and I looked at it and, you know, there's not too many reviews for it, so I figured I'll give it a shot. I won't lie, I'm very impressed. Actually, this keyboard right here is actually going to be my wife's keyboard. Um, she really likes the how mine works is actually mine sitting over here um, With the aura keycaps on it. So this one's actually gonna be my wife's But we are still gonna review this one. We're gonna actually unbox it So you see what you get in the box and we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and dive into it and actually open this thing up So two tabs on the bottom flip them out and open her up Now the nice thing about it is it does actually have this little cutout so you can try the switches out before you ever even try it So that's what it's gonna look like when you first open it up this off. Okay, let's go ahead and pull this guy out. Now, the blue mechanical switches this is using, um, if you're familiar with blue, like different MX switches, like cherries, browns, blues, all those, um, this is a blue switch. Now, it's not a, it's not a, um, I, I know it's not an MX switch. It's, uh, I don't, I'm not sure what company is making the switch for this one, but it's actually a pretty nice switch. It, it's on par with, I would say, the Razer green switches. They're green mechanical switches. So, okay, now let's unbox, grab the keyboard. Now I would do some little B-roll while we're doing this, while I'm going over different things. So this is the keyboard that you get. It does have the magnetic, uh, magnets are built right here at the bottom for the wrist rest, which we'll show off here in a minute. It does have feet. Um, I would say that's the downside about this one is the feet don't get really high off. I'll do a close up of that. Now, it does have this really nice channel for the cord, which lets, so depending on your the way your setup is, if your keyboard's off, or your computer's off to the right or off the left or straight ahead, you can actually channel this a certain way so it's not just dangling all over your desk. Kind of gives it a cleaner look. As you can see, this is an all black keyboard. Um, the keys do stand off from the keyboard. It's not, uh, they're not encased. So <clears throat> now on the blue mechanical switches, it actually does have a um, box around the actual stem. Um, that is for stability. Um, it actually does provide a bit of a stability for the switch itself instead of something like the aim switch I did a review on a few weeks ago where it doesn't have that and honestly the keys wobble slightly a little bit more on that keyboard because it doesn't have that box. Now it does have a come with a full number pad on it. Um, does come with it. Now the nice thing about this keyboard, <clears throat> this thing is compatible with aftermarket keycaps like the white Aura ones I have on my current keyboard, and also the pink Aura key, uh, pudding keycaps I'm gonna put on this board. Now, the space bar does have extra, go ahead and pull this off, does have extra supports, so it's not on a single stem, so there is supports on this key, on the keyboard. So you can, it will 
um, it won't feel like all wobbly and uh, loose and stuff. I would say that's the one that the space bar does have a little bit of a hollow sound to it, but not too bad. Now this is an aluminum frame, so it is actually a, a quite heavy keyboard for uh, the price you're paying. There's um, there's very little deck flex, um, very very little, um, very nice. So. Okay, let's go over real quick what comes into the actual box itself, other than the keyboard. So, you do get a product guide, which will show you how to, um, basically it'll tell you where if you want to go to the website to do your thing. Um, it'll also show you um, how to adjust the different uh, lighting switches, and also the brightness and all those switches without going through software. Because you don't actually need the software if you just want to run just the RGB, if you don't care about macros and things like that, you can totally do this without actually using any uh, software. Um, does have a quick start guide. Just grab right here. Right here, it's it's really not nothing much other than like, open it up, put the CD in. But let's be honest, how many of us still have these CDs? Or actually a disk drive on our computer. Not many of us, but if you do, your drivers are in here, which is nice. But if you just plug this straight into a computer, this will start up and work just fine. Actually, I'll go ahead and plug this in real quick so you guys can get an idea of what this looks like. It'll flash red, it'll go through all the colors, and then it goes through a green. Now, like I said, through the actual software, you can change this. It, it defaults to green. Like I said, these really have a feel of a razor switch, so I'm not kind of not surprised it defaults to green. So. I'll show more uh, footage of like the different modes you can do, different colors, like the rainbow and things like that. Okay, last but not least, the last thing that comes in the bag is the wrist rest itself. It is hard plastic. It does have rubber feet on the bottom, so it won't really move a lot. But if you actually flip this around real quick so you guys can see. Take this here. Just line it up, and boom. It will magnetically attach to the keyboard itself, and as you can see, they're pretty strong magnets. Um, they hold, I mean, even I'm holding this thing flat, and they're still right on there. So these are strong magnets, so if you want to have it right on the keyboard, you totally can. If you want to have it away from the keyboard, you can. However you want to set this up, this works just fine. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go into the software and show you guys um, what the software looks like, how you can adjust the different colors and different modes that this thing offers, and how to set up macros and things like that. So let's jump into that, and then after that, we'll come back to a conclusion and also let you know, is this worth your $45 at Walmart? So stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and look at the software right now. This is the on software. Um, in this is included in on the disc that comes with it. But if you don't do the use the disc, there is a piece of paper that takes you to their website, and you just download the software there. So, as you can see, you have five separate profiles that you can edit in any way. I, of course, just it defaults on one. So we'll go click around, click that one, click edit, and here is the layout of the keyboard. So now, out of the box, it does have a thousand hertz pulling rate, and these are pretty much the defaults. And of course you can see the RGB I am currently using. So this is how you adjust RGB. Click that, select. And now you have all these modes that you can try from. Now currently I have it on Wave. Um, another one that's a pretty decent one is called Radar. That one's kind of a funner, fun one. Funner one. <laughs> Gotta love speech. <laughs> then you just click OK. And it will automatically change. Now, that was if you wanted to select the entire thing. But if you say you just want to do the number pad a certain way, you can totally do it this way. So we can just say full lighting and make it, I don't know, we will go with, say, blue. Yep. Click OK. Now, the rest of the keyboard will keep this RGB that you selected, and this will be a solid blue. And you can actually go through on each individual key and actually set this up to have each individual key set to whatever color you want. Now, I will show you how you set up macros. Now, personally, I don't use macros, but there are people out there who actually want to use macros. So we say we're going to use number one. Click on that. 
So now we can go through, you can reassign the key to whatever you want. You can even assign certain keys to be your media keys. Because that was one disadvantage about this keyboard is it doesn't actually have any media keys on the keyboard itself compared to something like the Corsair K55. But you can say there's keys you never use, but yeah, you can read program them to actually work with. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, you can work them as your multimedia keys, which is pretty nice. Then you got office, and you need to have a, that's on the number pad. Now, if we go over here, we'll select H. Ah, sorry. Actually, we can go back over here. I clicked the wrong one. Here we go, macros. So, you can set up a macro for whatever buttons you want to use. And now, like I said, personally, I don't use macros, but there are people out there who do enjoy using macros. So this is the program that you can use to use that. Now you can't set macros um, just from the keyboard itself. You have to go into this program. So if you want to do that, you can. And then if you want to do individual key lighting, you can do that too. So of course, all that was blue. We'll select this one as red now. So we'll say full lighting, red color. Okay. Now <laughs> on my keyboard, every, this is going full RGB spin. This is all blue except for one key, which is glowing red. So, kind of interesting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch this back real fast. So, we are going to go with wave. And we're going to click OK. And there. Now we're back to wave. So, this is the software. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Now, the nice thing about this system is it does actually come with that paper that shows you how to actually adjust your RGB without actually installing the software. So if you don't care about macros or reassigning all that stuff, and you just want out of the box, plug it in, and you want RGB set a certain way, there is ways of doing it through the actual just basic keyboard itself. It's in the manual, so I recommend looking through that to see. So let's go back to the conclusion, and we'll wrap this video up. Now we're back. We're going to go ahead and go through a conclusion and a quick comparison to another keyboard that's in this price point. The one I'm talking about is the Corsair K55. Now this is actually a K57. Um, it's only thing, only difference between this one and the K55 is the wireless version, but the switches are still the same. The RGB is the same. Everything is pretty much the same. So it's an easy way to compare it. Um, this keyboard here, like I said, it's using a membrane switch. So you can see you can almost not hear this at all. It's a very, very quiet. Actually, I can see if I can pop one of these off. And also, these uh, don't set very far off of the deck. Um, now, if you're looking for, like I said, if you're looking for a more of a quieter keyboard, then I would point you in this direction. But if you are looking for that nice mechanical switch, that nice click, then definitely the on mechanical keyboard would be more of your style. They both have wrist rest. Now this one normally goes for around $50 to $55. Sometimes you can find it cheaper. This does have, now I can, I can turn this on because I can actually show you what the RGB on this looks like. Very similar to the RGB on the um, K55. No, of course. There it goes. <laughs> I had to turn it back on. So very similar RGB to the other one. Like I said, this is just the wireless version. Um, but the K55, when you plug that into your computer, pretty much does the same thing. So, and this does come with a wrist rest. It's not magnetic. It just clicks into the bottom right here. So, we'll set that aside, and we'll get back to the keyboard at hand. So, so the on keyboard. Honestly, after using this, I've used this keyboard for almost a month now. So, I really got some good time in it. Now, also, I didn't mention before on the unboxing part is these keys have a 50 million lifespan 50 million click lifespan so they're not going to wear out too quickly the only problem about these switches i will say is and you're not going to find it really much in this price point maybe on an amazon one but not going into a store and buying is these are not hot swappable so unfortunately if these keys go bad um there's not much you can do for it but let's be honest, if you're going into Walmart and buying a keyboard for $45, you're probably not worried about that. So um, who would I recommend this for? Um, of course, this is the holiday time. So if you have a gamer in mind and they're looking for a new keyboard, I would definitely recommend this one. Take a good serious look at it. Um, if you're looking into getting into PC gaming and you want a nice mechanical keyboard, but you're kind of overwhelmed with uh, things at Best Buy, things at um, you know all the other big box stores, um, this is definitely a really good option, um, especially because you can go ahead and 
um, put different keycaps on it. Now, my grab my keyboard here real quick. This is the one I use. I see here, I'm actually using, um, these are Habit keycaps. I will have a link for these in the description below if you're interested. These are the white Aura keys, but they do make this in black where the base is actually kind of a translucent and the top is actually clear. Um, so you can actually customize this keyboard the way you want. Now, the ones I'm putting on my wife's, uh, her, I'll put this back on here so I don't forget about it, her keyboard, boom, 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 we're going to put them here. There. These are, I don't know, I should have had this like prepped before I came over here. <laughs> these are the HK Gaming uh, keycaps. Now these come in many, many different colors. Um, actually, the ones I'll be putting on hers are the pink ones because she really likes the pink look. So, um, but they make orange, I've seen red, blue, all kinds of, so, and these will work on that keyboard. So, that's the nice thing about this keyboard over the Corsair keyboard, is a Corsair keyboard is using a membrane switch. You can't put MX style keycaps on it, but you can put them on these keyboards. So, if you want some little bit of customization, I would definitely, I will have a link for these in the description below as well. Like I said, these are HK. And the ones that I have on my keyboard right now are Habit, but they're pretty much the same. There's not much of a difference between the two. Okay, I think I went over everything I wanted to cover today, but I went over the unboxing, what you get in the box, uh, the build quality. Very good for the price. Because on the K57, or on the K55, this is plastic. I mean, it has a plastic housing, and it's got some pretty good deck flex. Compared to the on keyboard, which is actually an aluminum housing. This almost has very little deck flex at all. Um, and actually, this one feels, to the touch, this one feels way more premium than actually the keyboard that costs more than it. So, um, build quality, very nice. Um, if you, if you like I said, if you're looking for a clicky switch keyboard, highly recommend this one. Looking for a quiet keyboard, I look towards the Corsair one. Like I said, they're both at the same price point. Um, so that's pretty much where I'm going with that. Uh, build quality, all that other stuff. Um, like I said, I would highly recommend this keyboard. Like I said, I will have a link for all of these things I showed you today in the description below. If you like the video, please leave a like. Also, if you're new to the channel and you want to catch more videos like these budget-oriented items, please uh, consider subscribing. Also, every month we do a Amazon gift card giveaway. Actually, when this video goes live, there should be a giveaway going on right now. Um, also, I stream on YouTube and Facebook Gaming every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So if you want to stop in, say hello, want to chat a little bit while I'm gaming, I always have my chats up and running. And if you're interested in also gaming with me, my username is usually also posted while I'm playing. So if you're interested in gaming with me, you're more than welcome to. So thank you for joining me tonight. I, am, of course, am Lemon76 of Wonder Dad Gaming. Uh, have yourself a wonderful holiday coming up here soon, and also just have a wonderful day. Be safe out there. Peace.